Hemiptera, Wikipedia Audio The Hemiptera slash HMPTR slash or true bugs are an order of insects comprising some 50,000 to 80,000 species of groups such as the cicadas, aphids, plant hoppers, leaf hoppers, and shield bugs. They range in size from 1 mm to around 15 cm, and share a common arrangement of sucking mouthparts. The name true bugs is sometimes limited to the suborder Heteroptera. Many insects commonly known as bugs belong to other orders, for example, the love bug is a fly, while the may bug and ladybug are beetles. Most hemipterans feed on plants, using their sucking and piercing mouthparts to extract plant sap. Some are parasitic while others are predators that feed on other insects or small invertebrates. They live in a wide variety of habitats, generally terrestrial, though some species are adapted to life in or on the surface of fresh water. Hemipterans are hemimetabolous, with young nymphs that somewhat resemble adults. Many aphids are capable of parthenogenesis producing young from unfertilized eggs, this helps them to reproduce extremely rapidly in favorable conditions. Humans have interacted with the Hemiptera for millennia. Some species, including many aphids, are important agricultural pests, damaging crops by the direct action of sucking sap, but also harming them indirectly by being the vectors of serious viral diseases. Other species have been used for biological control of insect pests. Hemipterans have been cultivated for the extraction of the dyestuff cochineal and for shellac. The bed bug is a persistent parasite of humans. Cicadas have been used as food, and have appeared in literature from the Iliad in ancient Greece. Diversity Hemiptera is the largest order of hemimetabolous insects containing over 75,000 named species, orders with more species all have a pupal stage, Coleoptera, Lepidoptera, Diptera, and Hymenoptera. The group is very diverse. The majority of species are terrestrial, including a number of important agricultural pests, but some are found in freshwater habitats. These include the water boatmen, pond skaters, and giant water bugs. The fossil record of Hemipterans goes back to the Carboniferous. The oldest fossils are of the Archesidonidae from the Lower Permian and are thought to be basal to the Ochenorinca. Fulgoromorpha and Cicadomorpha appear in the Upper Permian, as do Sternorinca of the Siloidea and Aluridoidea. Aphids and coccoids appear in the Triassic. The Coleorinca extend back to the Lower Jurassic. The Heteroptera first appeared in the Triassic. The present members of the order Hemiptera were historically placed into two orders, the so-called Homoptera and Heteroptera slash Hemiptera, based on differences in wing structure and the position of the rostrum. The order is now divided into four or more suborders, after the Homoptera were established as paraphyletic. The cladogram is based on one analysis of the phylogeny of the Paranoptera by Hu Li and colleagues in 2015, using mitochondrial genome sequences and homogeneous models. It places the Sternorinca as sister clade to the Thysonoptera and the lice making the Hemiptera as traditionally understood non-monophyletic. However, when heterogeneous models were used, Hemiptera was found to be monophyletic. The result where Hemiptera was found to be non-monophyletic is likely due to phylogenetic artifacts, such as elevated substitution rates in Sternorinca compared with the other suborders of Hemiptera. English names are given in parentheses where possible. Other insects Cicoptera Fulgoromorpha Cicadomorpha Coleorinca 
Heteroptera Taxonomy and Phylogeny Sternorinca Thysonoptera Lipocylididae and Thyraptera The defining feature of hemipterans is their beak in which the modified mandibles and maxillae form a stylet which is sheathed within a modified labium. The stylet is capable of piercing tissues and sucking liquids, while the labium supports it. The stylet contains a channel for the outward movement of saliva and another for the inward movement of liquid food. A salivary pump drives saliva into the prey, a sibarial pump extracts liquid from the prey. Both pumps are powered by substantial dilator muscles in the head. The beak is usually folded under the body when not in use. The diet is typically plant sap but some hemipterans such as assassin bugs are blood suckers, and a few are predators. Both herbivorous and predatory hemipterans inject enzymes to begin digestion extraorally. These enzymes include amylase to hydrolyze starch, polygalacturonase to weaken the tough cell walls of plants, and proteinases to break down proteins. Although the hemiptera vary widely in their overall form, their mouth parts form a distinctive rostrum. Other insect orders with mouth parts modified into anything like the rostrum and stylets of the hemiptera include some thyraptera, but for other reasons they generally are easy to recognize as non-hemipteran. Similarly, the mouth parts of Siphonoptera, some Diptera, and Thysonoptera superficially resemble the rostrum of the Hemiptera, but on closer inspection the differences are considerable. Aside from the mouth parts, various other insects can be confused with Hemiptera, but they all have biting mandibles and maxillae instead of the rostrum. Examples include cockroaches and sausages, both of which have longer, many segmented antennae, and some beetles, but these have fully hardened forewings which do not overlap. The forewings of Hemiptera are either entirely membranous, as in the Sternorinca and Ochinorinca, or partially hardened, as in most Heteroptera. The name Hemiptera is from the Greek mu iota and pi tau epsilon rho nu, referring to the forewings of many heteropterans which are hardened near the base, but membranous at the ends. Wings modified in this manner are termed hemelytra, by analogy with the completely hardened elytra of beetles, and occur only in the suborder Heteroptera. In all suborders, the hind wings if present at all are entirely membranous and usually shorter than the forewings. The forewings may be held roofwise over the body, or held flat on the back, with the ends overlapping. The antennae in Hemiptera typically consist of four or five segments, although they can still be quite long, and the tarsi of the legs have two or three segments. Biology Mouth Parts Many Hemipterans can produce sound for communication. The song of male cicadas, the loudest of any insect, is produced by timbal organs on the underside of the abdomen, and is used to attract mates. The timbals are drum-like discs of cuticle, which are clicked in and out repeatedly, making a sound in the same way as popping the metal lid of a jam jar in and out. Wing Structure Sound Production Life Cycle Parthenogenesis and Viviparity Locomotion Stridulatory sounds are produced among the aquatic Coryxidae and Natonectidae using tibial combs rubbed across rostral ridges. Hemipterans are hemimetabolous, meaning that they do not undergo metamorphosis, the complete change of form between a larval phase and an adult phase. Instead, their young are called nymphs, and resemble the adults to a greater or lesser degree. The nymphs molt several times as they grow, and each instar resembles the adult more than the previous one. 
wing buds grow in later stage nymphs, the final transformation involves little more than the development of functional wings and functioning sexual organs, with no intervening pupal stage as in hollow metabolous insects. Many aphids are parthenogenetic during part of the life cycle, such that females can produce unfertilized eggs, which are clones of their mother. All such young are females, so 100% of the population at these times can produce more offspring. Many species of aphid are also viviparous, the young are born live rather than laid as eggs. These adaptations enable aphids to reproduce extremely rapidly when conditions are suitable. Swimming and Skating Hemipterans make use of a variety of modes of locomotion including swimming, skating on a water surface and jumping, as well as walking and flying like other insects. Several families of Heteroptera are water bugs, adapted to an aquatic lifestyle, such as the water boatmen, water scorpions, and back swimmers. They are mostly predatory, and have legs adapted as paddles to help the animal move through the water. The pond skaters or water striders are also associated with water, but use the surface tension of standing water to keep them above the surface, they include the sea skaters in the genus Halobates, the only truly marine group of insects. Marangoni effect propulsion exploits the change in surface tension when a soap-like surfactant is released onto a water surface, in the same way that a toy soap boat propels itself. Water bugs in the genus Microvelia can travel at up to 17 cm s twice as fast as they can walk, by this means. Flight is well developed in the Hemiptera although mostly used for short distance movement and dispersal. Wing development is sometimes related to environmental conditions. In aphids, both winged and wingless forms occur with winged forms produced in greater numbers when food resources are depleted. Aphids and whiteflies can sometimes be transported very long distances by atmospheric updrafts and high-altitude winds. Many Ochinorinca including representatives of the cicadas, leaf hoppers, tree hoppers, plant hoppers, and frog hoppers are adapted for jumping. Tree hoppers, for example, jump by rapidly depressing their hind legs. Before jumping, the hind legs are raised and the femora are pressed tightly into curved indentations in the coxy. Tree hoppers can attain a takeoff velocity of up to 2.7 meters per second and an acceleration of up to 250 grams. The instantaneous power output is much greater than that of normal muscle, implying that energy is stored and released to catapult the insect into the air. Cicadas which are much larger, extend their hind legs for a jump in under a millisecond, again implying elastic storage of energy for sudden release. In contrast, most Sternorinca females are sedentary or completely sessile, attached to their host plants by their thin feeding stylets which cannot be taken out of the plant quickly. Most Hemipterans are phytophagous using their sucking and piercing mouth parts to feed on plant sap. These include cicadas, leaf hoppers, tree hoppers, plant hoppers, frog hoppers, aphids, white flies, scale insects, and some other groups. Some are monophages, being host-specific and only found on one plant taxon, others are oligophages, feeding on a few plant groups while others again are less discriminating polyphages and feed on many species of plant. The relationship between hemipterans and plants appears to be ancient, with piercing and sucking of plants evident in the early Devonian period. Marangoni Propulsion Hemipterans can dramatically cut the mass of affected plants, especially in major outbreaks. 
They sometimes also change the mix of plants by predation on seeds or feeding on roots of certain species. Some sapsuckers move from one host to another at different times of year. Many aphids spend the winter as eggs on a woody host plant and the summer as parthogenetically reproducing females on a herbaceous plant. Phloem sap, which has a higher concentration of sugars and nitrogen, is under positive pressure unlike the more dilute xylem sap. Most of the Sternorinca and a number of Ochinorincan groups feed on phloem. Phloem feeding is common in the Fulgoromorpha, most Cicadelidae, and in the Heteroptera. The Tiflosibine Cicadelids specialize in feeding on nonvascular mesophyll tissue of leaves, which is more nutritious than the leaf epidermis. Most heteroptera also feed on mesophyll tissue where they are more likely to encounter defensive secondary plant metabolites which often leads to the evolution of host specificity. Obligate xylem feeding is a special habit that is found in the Ochinorinca among Cicadoidea, Cercopoidea, and in Cicadellin Cicadelids. Some phloem feeders may take to xylem sap facultatively especially when facing dehydration. Xylem feeders tend to be polyphagous, to overcome the negative pressure of xylem requires a special sibirial pump. Phloem feeding hemiptera typically have symbiotic microorganisms in their gut that help to convert amino acids. Phloem feeders produce honeydew from their anus. A variety of organisms that feed on honeydew form symbiotic associations with phloem feeders. Phloem sap is a sugary liquid low in amino acids, so insects have to process large quantities to meet their nutritional requirements. Xylem sap is even lower in amino acids and contains monosaccharides rather than sucrose, as well as organic acids and minerals. No digestion is required and 90% of the nutrients in the xylem sap can be utilized. Some phloem sap feeders selectively mix phloem and xylem sap to control the osmotic potential of the liquid consumed. A striking adaptation to a very dilute diet is found in many hemipterans, a filter chamber, a part of the gut looped back on itself as a counter-current exchanger which permits nutrients to be separated from excess water. The residue, mostly water with sugars and amino acids, is quickly excreted as sticky honeydew, notably from aphids but also from other Ochinorica and Sternorinca. Flight Some Sternorinca including psyllids and some aphids are gall formers. These sap-sucking hemipterans inject fluids containing plant hormones into the plant tissues inducing the production of tissue that covers to protect the insect and also act as sinks for nutrition that they feed on. The hackleberry gall psyllid for example, causes a woody gall on the leaf petioles of the hackleberry tree it infests, and the nymph of another psyllid produces a protective lerp out of hardened honeydew. Most other hemipterans are predatory, feeding on other insects, or even small vertebrates. This is true of many aquatic species which are predatory, either as nymphs or adults. The predatory shield bug for example stabs caterpillars with its beak and sucks out the body fluids. The saliva of predatory heteropterans contains digestive enzymes such as proteinase and phospholipase and in some species also amylase. The mouth parts of these insects are adapted for predation. There are toothed stylets on the mandibles able to cut into and abrade tissues of their prey. There are further stylets on the maxillae, adapted as tubular canals to inject saliva and to extract the predigested and liquefied contents of the prey. Jumping Sedentary lifestyles Ecological roles Some species attack pest insects and are used in biological control. 
One of these is the spine soldier bug that sucks body fluids from larvae of the Colorado beetle and the Mexican bean beetle. A few hemipterans are hematophagic, feeding on the blood of larger animals. These include bed bugs and the triatomin kissing bugs of the assassin bug family Reduviidae, which can transmit the dangerous Chagas disease. The first known hemipteran to feed in this way on vertebrates was the extinct assassin bug Triatoma dominicana found fossilized in amber and dating back about 20 million years. Fecal pellets fossil least beside it show that it transmitted a disease causing trypanosoma and the amber included hairs of the likely host, a bat. Some species of ant protect and farm aphids and other sap-sucking hemipterans, gathering and eating the honeydew that these hemipterans secrete. The relationship is symbiotic, as both ant and aphid benefit. Ants such as the yellow ant hill ant, Lasus flavus, breed aphids of at least four species, Geoica utricularia, Tetranura ulmi, Forda marginata and Forda formicaria, taking eggs with them when they found a new colony. In return, these aphids are obligately associated with the ant, breeding mainly or wholly asexually inside anthills. Ants may also protect the plant bugs from their natural enemies removing the eggs of predatory beetles and preventing access by parasitic wasps. Some leaf hoppers are similarly milked by ants. In the Corcovado rainforest of Costa Rica, wasps compete with ants to protect and milk leaf hoppers. The leaf hoppers preferentially give more honeydew, more often, to the wasps, which are larger and may offer better protection. Hemiptera form prey to predators including vertebrates, such as birds, and other invertebrates such as ladybirds. In response, hemipterans have evolved anti-predator adaptations. Ranitrum may feign death. Others such as Carpocorus purpuripenes secrete toxic fluids to ward off arthropod predators. Some pentatomidae such as Dooley chorus are able to direct these fluids at an attacker. Toxic cardinolid compounds are accumulated by the heteropteran Oncopeltis fasciatus when it consumes milkweeds, while the choriid stink bug Amorbus rubiginosus acquires 2 hexanol from its food plant, eucalyptus. Some long legged bugs mimic twigs rocking to and fro to simulate the motion of a plant part in the wind. The nymph of the masked hunter bug camouflages itself with sand grains, using its hind legs and tarsal fan to form a double layer of grains, coarser on the outside. The Amazon rainforest cicada Hemisierum macula pennies display bright red diamatic flash coloration on their hind wings when threatened. The sudden contrast helps to startle predators, giving the cicadas time to escape. The colored patch on the hindwing is concealed at rest by an olive green patch of the same size on the forewing, enabling the insect to switch rapidly from cryptic to diamatic behavior. Some hemipterans such as firebugs have bold aposematic warning coloration, often red and black which appear to deter passerine birds. Many hemipterans including aphids, scale insects, and especially the plant hoppers secrete wax to protect themselves from threats such as fungi, parasitoidal insects and predators, as well as abiotic factors like desiccation. Hard waxy coverings are especially important in the sedentary Sternorhynchus such as scale insects which have no means of escape from predators, other Sternorinca evade detection and attack by creating and living inside plant galls. Nymphal cicadoidea and cercopoidea have glands attached to the malpighian tubules in their proximal segment that produce mucopolysaccharides, which form the froth around spittlebugs, offering a measure of protection. Parental care is found in many species of Hemiptera especially in members of the Membracidae and numerous Heteroptera. 
In many species of shield bug, females stand guard over their egg clusters to protect them from egg parasitoids and predators. In the aquatic Belostomatidae, females lay their eggs on the back of the male which guards the eggs. Protection provided by ants is common in the Ochenorinca. Although many species of Hemiptera are significant pests of crops and garden plants, including many species of aphid and scale insects, other species are harmless. The damage done is often not so much the deprivation of the plant of its sap, but the fact that they transmit serious viral diseases between plants. They often produce copious amounts of honeydew which encourages the growth of sooty mold. Significant pests include the cottony cushion scale, a pest of citrus fruit trees, the green peach aphid and other aphids which attack crops worldwide and transmit diseases, and jumping plant lice which are often host plant specific and transmit diseases. Members of the families Reduviidae, Fematidae and Nabidae are obligate predators. Some predatory species are used in biological pest control, these include various nobids, and even some members of families that are primarily phytophagous, such as the genus Geochorus in the family Legiidae. Other hemipterans are omnivores, alternating between a plant-based and an animal-based diet. For example, Dicephus hesperus is used to control white fly on tomatoes but also sucks sap, and if deprived of plant tissues will die even if in the presence of white flies. Other hemipterans have positive uses for humans, such as in the production of the dyestuff carmine. The FDA has created guidelines for how to declare when it has been added to a product. The scale insect Dactylopius caucus produces the brilliant red-colored carminic acid to deter predators. Up to 100,000 scale insects need to be collected and processed to make a kilogram of cochineal dye. A similar number of lac bugs are needed to make a kilogram of shellac, a brush-on colorant and wood finish. Additional uses of this traditional product include the waxing of citrus fruits to extend their shelf life, and the coating of pills to moisture-proof them, provide slow release or mask the taste of bitter ingredients. Chagas disease is a modern-day tropical disease caused by Trypanosoma cruzi and transmitted by kissing bugs, so-called because they suck human blood from around the lips while a person sleeps. The bed bug, Cymex lectularius, is an external parasite of humans. It lives in bedding and is mainly active at night, feeding on human blood, generally without being noticed. Bed bugs mate by traumatic insemination, the male pierces the female's abdomen and injects his sperm into a secondary genital structure, the spermalage. The sperm travel in the female's blood to sperm storage structures, they are released from there to fertilize her eggs inside her ovaries. Some larger hemipterans such as cicadas are used as food in Asian countries such as China, and they are much esteemed in Malawi and other African countries. Insects have a high protein content and good food conversion ratios but most hemipterans are too small to be a useful component of the human diet. At least nine species of hemiptera are eaten worldwide. Cicadas have featured in literature since the time of Homer's Iliad, and as motifs in decorative art from the Chinese Shang dynasty. They are described by Aristotle in his History of Animals and by Pliny the Elder in his Natural History. Their mechanism of sound production is mentioned by Hesiod in his poem Works and Days when the Scolimus flowers, and the tuneful Tedix sitting on his tree in the weary summer season pours forth from under his wings his shrill song. Among the bugs, cicadas in particular have been used as money, in folk medicine, to forecast the weather, to provide song, and in folklore and myths around the world. 
Large-scale cultivation of the oil palm Elias guineensis in the Amazon basin damages freshwater habitats and reduces the diversity of aquatic and semi-aquatic heteroptera. Climate change may be affecting the global migration of hemipterans including the potato leaf hopper, Imbusca fabi. Warming is correlated with the severity of potato leaf hopper infestation so increased warming may worsen infestations in future. Feeding Modes Herbivores Predators Hematophagic Parasites As Symbionts As Prey, Defenses Against Predators and Parasites Interaction with Humans As Pests for pest control Insect products As human parasites and disease vectors As food In art and literature In mythology and folklore Threats Notes